Hello and welcome to the Tower Rolls video today. It's much like going to Baskin Robbins or an ice cream parlor and being like, hey, what flavors ice cream you got? And they're like, hey, we got a bunch of poop. Everything's flavored like poop today. I, I took a peek at the rolls and they're all kind of bad. All right. Assembly 2, we got Hidden Hand, uh, Perfect Balance, Armor Piercing Rounds, Quick Draw. Uh, no, just... It's, it's a, very baseline roll there. Free will, two rangefinder, perfect balance, outlaw, arm piercing rounds, hip fire. This would be an interesting old rangefinder and outlaw. Uh, and like hip fire together. Actually, no, that's not an interesting. Oh, God. Sorry, I have not fully woken up today. Uh, impeacher five, rangefinder, hand loaded, armor piercing. There's armor piercing rounds on everything. <laughs> Quick draw. Um, I wouldn't recommend using hand loaded and rangefinder together most of the time on sidearms. Uh, one of them is enough to increase your range to like the absolute max of sidearms. So I wouldn't really worry about trying to stack those on any sidearm. Bad counsel for rangefinder, perfect balance, close and or personal, flared magwell, quick draw. You know, there have been a ton of really great shotgun rolls coming out recently due to all this tower reset, and this one just doesn't do anything interesting. It doesn't excel at anything in particular, so pass. It doesn't do anything in like PvE or PvP over some of the other shotguns that have come out. Deposition, 7, Unflinching, Triple Tap, and Quick Draw. This is one where it's like, okay, if you like if you like this archetype, you know, you got Triple Tap and Unflinching. That makes for a good time in uh, PvE. So Short Gaze, uh, Triple Tap, Unflinching, Quick Draw. If you need a PvE one of this particular archetype, you know, it's, it's not horrible. Not horrible. The first Citizen 9. Persistence is a really good perk on machine guns, but only if you're going to actually fire the gun for an extended period of time. Crowd control, again, very good on machine guns, usually decreases the time to kill heavily in PvP, and also, it's just really good in PvE. However, nothing else about this gun really, you know, makes me go, yeah, get this one, you got perfect balance, but then you're losing crowd control, and persistence, it really is only good if you hold down the trigger and fire like Rambo, so nothing at New Monarchy is really that interesting if, you know, th th there's no god rolls there, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Over here at the Crucible vendor, we got a bunch more flavors of bland. Zero Day Dilemma with Persistence, Brace Frame, Spray and Play, Danger Close, Appended Magazine. So Persistence and Appended Magazine are kind of good together, uh, but Brace Frame is really what you're looking for on an auto rifle problem. It does reduce the magazine size, and on auto rifles reducing the magazine size, it's never really that good. I can never really recommend it. Uh, unless it's like, you know, the absolute highest rate of fire archetype. B29, party favor with Head Seeker, Brace Frame, Eye of the Storm, Life Support, Feather Mag. Head Seeker and Brace Frame are going to be pretty good together on this particular archetype because it's it's faster rate of fire and you're, you're going to be able to uh, take advantage of that in both PvE and PvP. However, nothing else about the weapon stands out. It's, it's just going to be a pulse rifle. The Hero Formula, Reactive Reload, Brace Frame, Armor Piercing Rounds, Life Support, Takeny. So again, we got Brace Frame, which is going to be great for your overall stability, but I feel like Reactive Reload without a reload bonus is wasted. You're, you're not going to be able to take too much use of it, even if you use Reload Gloves. So once again, sadly have to pass. We have the Palindrome this week, and we have Reactive Reload, which is good. Reinforced Barrel. Uh, for range perks on hand cannons, highly suggest you get rifled barrel. Reinforced is usable for some players. They don't seem to mind it, but I can tell you, you are going to be in much, much better shape if you get rifled, because it doesn't touch your stability. Relentless Tracker, Spray and Play, Lightweight. So we have Spray and Play, which is a reload bonus, but only if you, you know fully empty the magazine. Reactive Reload. I feel like Reactive Reload on hand cannons can't even get used unless you have Outlaw. That's... Just a personal opinion. Each new day, fusion rifle, hot swap, hand blade stock, enhanced battery, battle runner, last resort. Uh, God, I really need to study fusion rifles a little bit more. I'm, I'm going to say no on this one. I'm just going to say no. Interesting roll, but no. We have the Curtain Call, a void full auto shotgun with rifled barrel, cascade, battle runner, and quick draw. I like it for PvE if you need a void full auto shotgun. So there you go. Voidful Auto Shotgun for PvE, Curtain Call, there you go. 
Anton's Rule, Hot Swap, Hand Loaded, Outlaw, or Feeding Frenzy. Ooh, I like that. I like this. You know, that's a, that's a good choice there, Bungie. Because it's like, oh, I'm, I'm better at getting kills, or I, I'm going to gamble and get a precision kill and have a little bit faster reload. We also have Casket Mag, which is, you know, ever since uh, the all the sidearm changes, the special ammo changes, Casket Mag and Appended Mag on sidearms are pretty good. I prefer Appended Mag because it doesn't touch the stability, but hey... You know, this, this is an interesting little role here. I, I, I always like reload boosts on, on my sidearms. We have the Event Horizon, unflinching armor-piercing rounds. Casket Mag, Army of One, and Mulligan. Casket Mag is really good if you have it paired with something like Triple Tap. Otherwise, uh, nope. Just, just, don't, just don't even bother. Chaotic Neutral, Persistence, Perfect Balance, Rifle Barrel life support, and spray and play. Once again, persistence is good, but nothing else about this gun is really speaking to me here. It's It'll kill stuff, just like every other machine gun. Something wicked, cluster bombs. Cluster bombs, hey, you know how when I was gone, all of a sudden, everyone suddenly discovered that cluster bombs are amazing on Axis? Eh, there you go. Um, this one does have soft launch and heavy payload, so you'll be able to up the velocity a little bit more and then still increase the blast radius, so that's nice. If uh, any of that appeals to you, pick it up. All right, over here at the Dead Orbit vendor, what do you got for us this week? The Extremophile 011 Persistence. I don't like that on <laughs> auto rifles at all. Perfect balance, arm piercing rounds, snapshot, third eye. Nope, just... You can get so much better on that particular auto rifle. The Keystone, I think this is one with... Th this qualifies as an interesting role. We have Explosive Round, which is some people like, some people don't like. Outlaw, but mainly it's just Outlaw and Crowd Control together. Outlaw for a reload bonus, Crowd Control for a damage bonus on kills. That's just really good. It's a very solid... Uh, I'm, I'd use this in PvE. I wouldn't use it in PvP. Actually, this could be good in PvP with, with Crowd Control there. Eh. It's, it's worth a try in PvP, but PvE, that's going to be a solid workhorse for you. Worlds to Come, 001, Hot Swap, Perfect Balance, Spray and Play, Accelerated Coils, Light Weight. So Accelerated Coils, like Perfect, no, nah, not, not very good. Not very good. Last Ditch, we have Rangefinder, Small Bore, and Extended Magazine. So hey, Extended Mag can make up for the decreased Small Bore, and then Rangefinder boost the range a little bit more. It's still not as good as the the original fender roll of Last Ditch. So I'd pass the Bitter Edge, much like me in the tower today. Yuck, yuck, Bitter Edge, Firefly, Hammer Forge, Clown, Clown Cartridge, Quick Draw. I don't know what this one's trying to do. It's, uh, this doesn't really have a home. The this, this particular rate of fire and impact combo sniper rifle just doesn't fit in anywhere. It just doesn't fit in anywhere. Quick draw, clown cartridge, and firefly. Yeah, these are all interesting perks, but none of them are going to give you like a singular vision for the weapon. Unto dust, we have grenades and horseshoes, javelin, third eye, flared magma. Quick god, <laughs> the blast radius and velocity of this are just hilariously low to me. That's that's just funny. That's just funny. I'd I'd pass on it. Over at the Vanguard Quartermaster. We have the Continental. Last week's roll, I believe, was significantly better. Third Eye, Hand Laid Stock, Rifle Barrel, Spray, and Play Grenadier. Hand Laid Stock, nice for a really good stability boost, but that's about the only other thing that I can really recommend that you use on that auto rifle. Part of the Inshot, ugh, nothing of use on this one. We have Head Seeker, Small Bore, Lightweight, Eye of the Storm, Take a Knee. Well, Take a Knee is nice, but nothing else on this is... This is worthwhile. It's a, it's a bad, that's a bad pulse rifle right there. Angel's Advocate, Return to Cinder, Kills of a Chance to Grant, Bonus Ammo Magazine, Small Bore, Rodeo, Take Any, High Cal Rounds. Nope, just absolute pass. That is a, that is a bunch of garbage tacked onto a weapon. How dare you? I'm going to run out of how dare you jokes eventually. We have Hidden Hand, Reinforced, Lightweight, Mulligan, and Last Resort. Now, like I said earlier, reinforce is something that you shouldn't really go for on hand cans because stability does matter, especially so on the highest rate of fire archetype. So reinforced, that's going to be a really low stability. You're not going to be able to make use of that rate of fire. Hidden hand is nice, though. So, you know, hey, you'll, you'll hit stuff. X asterisk, hidden hand, accelerated coils, unflinching, replen 
a replenish fusion rifle for PvP. Uh, this particular archetype, uh, not, not I wouldn't I probably wouldn't end up using it. You're probably gonna have some very difficult times properly hitting stuff uh, with that with that fusion rifle spread. We have the teacup tempest, hot swap, snapshot, high cal rounds, zen moment, and feeding frenzy. I like feeding frenzy. However, nothing else on this really stands out to me. Especially this, the Teacup Tempest, a very fairly fast rate of fire one. Actually, no, it's the same as Wormwood. Uh, Occam's Razor, we have Range Finder, Reinforced Barrel. Hey, you can get some high range on it. That's about it, though, because it's in a very poor archetype. So with that archetype, go for PvE, go for full auto, stuff like that. Seventh Sense, we have Unflinching small bore underdog and just no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna stop reviewing that one right there we got bone crusher range finder small bore appended mag eye of the storm gorilla fighter uh, yeah, appended mag and range finder nice on it but this uh, no <laughs> no disassembly required cluster bombs perfect balance heavy payload vacuum why why does that perk exist Okay, so heavy payload cluster bombs. That would be nice uh, if you're looking for a cluster bomb weapon for uh, the Axis fight. But I feel like there's been better. I feel like there's been better cluster bomb rocket launchers for the Axis fight. All right, Lakshmi 2, last vendor for the video. We have the Whale with reactive reload, perfect balance, relentless track explosive rounds. Yeah, this doesn't have, this does not have anything really worthwhile on it. The Waltz with Rodeo Perfect Balance, Flared Magwell. Mm, no, if that was Counterbalance, then we might have, we'd have a little bit to talk about here. Like Counterbalance and Perfect Balance together, but Rodeo, uh, nope, nope. The Waiting, Rangefinder, Hammerforged, and so goes, okay, Quick Draw, Hammerforged, Rangefinder, you got a little baby, baby plan C with that. I like it. That's not, that's not a horrible roll. Not a horrible one. The Wounded, hey, look, we finally got a decent roll. Wounded always seems to have very consistent rolls. Crowd Control, Hammer Forged, Full Auto, or Unflinching and Explosive Rounds. Uh, crowd Control, you guys know me, on any scout is fantastic. Full Auto on this particular archetype is great. It's easy to hit that perfect rate of fire without it, but it makes life so much easier to just hold down the trigger. I mean, that's why auto rifles are good. It's great on scout rifles, too. Moving over from the Wounded, we have the Wormwood which is just a, it's a sad cry of its former self. We got Hot Swap, Fitted, Stalker, Cascade, High Cal, or Quick Draw. Mm, nope, not, it's not doing anything for me. And then finally, the Warpath with Grenades and Horseshoes, Heavy Payload, Battle Runner, Flared Magwell, Snapshot. Uh, another week in the tower. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking none of these weapons are really worth getting. If you watch to the end, thank you very much. I have fully moved into my apartment so I can start making videos again, but... You know, still got to help Dado move in a little bit later today and everything. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.